Hi guys, Democles Rocha here. Today I'm going to read a text about Brazil uh, that I requested. Chat GPT created using 300 words. I'm gonna read it and I'm gonna react to what I'm reading. I'm a Brazilian, so let's see uh, what Chat GPT created using 300 words about Brazil. Brazil the largest country in South America is a vibrant tapestry of culture, nature and diversity. I wonder what tapestry is. I'm not sure if you know the meaning of this word. Please let me know in the comments section and let's interact. So moving on. From the bustling streets of its metropolitan cities to the lush Amazon rainforest, Brazil captivates visitors with its beautiful and warmth. Okay, uh, bustling streets, I imagine, are streets uh, with, a lot of, with a lot of people, right? A lot of life. I'm not sure what bustling is, though. And uh, it says here, to metropolitan cities, to the lush Amazon rainforest. Lush, it's probably something good, right? Uh, vibrant, maybe, uh, with a lot of trees, is a lush Amazon rainforest. I'm gonna have to check on that word lush. Okay, uh, moving on with the text created by ChatGPT. At the heart of Brazilian culture is its people. I believe that's true for every culture, right? Known for their infectious energy, and passion for life. I don't like that word, infectious energy. That's kind of weird. Uh, don't you use infectious for like disease? But, uh, well, moving on. Brazilians are renowned for their love of music and dance. I do love music, but I don't dance. With samba and bossa nova rhythms pulsating uh, through the streets during festivals and celebrations. Yeah, a lot of people like samba, I'm sure, especially in Rio de Janeiro. And I love Bossa Nova. Bossa Nova is awesome. Uh, yeah, I believe that's true. But I would say Bossa Nova today is not that famous, especially with younger generations. Okay, uh, moving on with the text. The country's rich cultural heritage is reflected in its cuisine and flavorful fusion of indigenous, African and European influences. That's correct. Feijoada, a hearty stew of black beans and pork, is a beloved national dish, while tropical fruits like acai and guava uh, tantalize the taste buds well, uh, let me see if I understood this. Hari is to Hari is to I'm not sure what Hari means in this situation. I know the word heart, right? But Hari, I'm not sure what it means. Uh, stew of black beans. I know what feijoada is, so I have a pretty good guess what they are about what they are describing because I have had feijoada multiple times. And uh, it's a food that I like, but it's not something that I, I want to eat every day, right? I know it's made of black beans and pork, and it is a beloved national dish. People like it, okay? But I would say more people from like Rio de Janeiro, maybe Bahia, they like feijoada a lot. Uh, let me see how long oh, it's taking. Oh, it's uh, taking over four minutes, this video now. So I'm gonna stop here. I'm not gonna read all the 300 words. I don't want to make this video very long. So I would love if you guys would comment uh, on the questions that I raised while I was reading this. Uh, thank you for your time. I hope you have a good one. Bye.